Hi everybody, this is Donna Lay from DonnaLay.com and I had an idea this morning that I want to share with you that mixes Lenormand, a very simple way of using it, perfect for beginners, especially if you've also worked with tarot. And even if you haven't, this is something you can use with a little free flow in terms of the tarot. Um, what I'm going to use here is the Postmark Lenormand by Melissa Hill. Great deck, comes in a cute tin and nice bold pictures for you to see in the video. And for tarot, I will be using Robert Place's Alchemical Tarot Renewed. Um, the purists are going to gasp at what I did, but I absolutely love what I did. I removed the borders from uh, the deck, so there's no white border here. And I really liked the way the pictures popped once I did that. Um, and you can still see that the back still manages to have a little bit of border around the edges. So here's what we're going to do. This is a lot of fun. So this is a great way to practice your combinations when you use the Lenormand as you're starting to learn it. What you're going to do is just pull two cards, much like you would in your daily draw, two card spread, and you will pull also one tarot card on top. Now here's the reason why. The Lenormand tends to be very practical. It tells you what's happening in the day. Um, it's, it's not so much how you feel about it, although you can go in that direction with it if you wanted to, but it's really about this is the literal stuff. Tarot is a great tool for a psychological reaction, how we feel about the things in our life. So what you do here is with the two cards you have, you turn them over. So we have mouse and moon. So this may be something being taken away from someone's reputation. It may have uh, something to do with taken away from um, something you're known for. So uh, these two cards tell about what's happening to somebody. How we feel about it is the card that we get on top. So here we have the Six of Swords from the deck. And this means that if this happens, somebody's moving on. Okay, so somebody's taken a direction. The Six of Swords is about going from one place to another. And thoughts, 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 thinking, thinking, thinking with the swords. Interesting too, we have the, the blowing clouds here that's helping to put the wind in the sails. Let's try another one. So I will mix these cards back in in different spots. Whoops, oh, maybe these cards want to come out, something just fell. So let's take two out of what fell. Okay, so we have stars we have cross and let's pull a tarot card to see how we feel about it now stars can be about hope and then the cross has to do with karmic return or hope and spirituality stars can also have to do with something for me it means like spreading out metastasizing and but this is a burden it's almost like a burden something spread out and that became a burden something um, went out to more people or things and it became burdensome so let's see how we feel about that so if we Robert Place's deck and we turn it over. Oh, interesting card. So we have the theft card here, the Seven of Swords with the fox and he's taking something away. So apparently all these people, that could be all these swords here. So this is what's happening. This is how somebody feels about what's happening. So it's a very hard thing to go through. Also, it's funny because I also use the Seven of Swords as my card about um, learning and gathering research and data and now it's almost like the little stars are all the little lessons and we're gathering lessons through the difficult experiences of our life the classroom of life so let's put these cards back in the deck shuffle again we'll try one more and I encourage you to try this at home the two Lenormand cards are mystery left the other two cards that we pulled already out of the deck so let's see what comes through okay so we have the scythe and the mountain we're getting some wicked wicked cards today so basically uh, hurtful over and over and over and it causes this mountain um, long journey it's hard it's really hard to go through it's going to be a long process to go through getting over the mountain um, but this is also, to me, someone who's sarcastic or has hard wit. So, and that will be, um, but all, and this all could be something cutting. The scythe harvests, harvests, the scythe harvests, it, it cuts. Um, and I see the 
the cutting as being part of that long journey. And how do we feel about it? Now, this is an interesting card because this almost seems to conflict. So what we have is the Three of Pentacles. And for me, this is a card about uh, teamwork and working with other people. And so perhaps this difficult situation, how we feel about it is really bonding with people that can help us get through it. It can maybe help us think about how this impacts our feelings about community or teamwork. It can be uh, about, this man is writing, so if you take a literal look at what's happening in the imagery of this card by the window, is the observation. And it, he could actually be looking out at a mountain just like this one right here. Maybe he's watching this man cutting out his window and the mountain. So maybe what he's looking at is he's observing that and he's making notes about it and writing about it. So how does he feel about it? Maybe he feels like an observer and he's taking notes. Maybe he'll do something with it and put it in writing. Maybe he'll use it as something either in a book or poetry or draw something about it. he could be drawing. So, and maybe he's drawing from the experience quite literally. So that's a, a three card way of experimenting with two tools, the tarot as well as the Lenormand. And I hope you have a little fun experimenting with that. And I would love to see the spreads that you come up with and what you learn about the literal and how somebody's responding to it. Thanks and have a great week.